everyone, happy Friday. Today we're going to learn how to dynamically format your values using appropriate units. Before we jump into our solution, let's first take a look at a scenario in which this would be very useful. So here I'm looking at historical sales information by year. And we can see that we've changed our display units to thousands in order to remove some of the digits and make this value more readable. When it comes to reporting, you obviously don't want to be working with 10 digit values. Instead, what you want to do is you want to present your information using appropriate number format. So in this case, what we've done is we jumped into our sum of sales label. We clicked on format, number, and we changed our display units to thousands. But what do you think is going to happen when we filter our data by customer name. Okay. So here I brought my customer name into filters and now I'm going to go in and filter my data on a specific customer. So here we can clearly see that the values for each customer are so small that they show up as zeros. So what can we do in this case, if we still wanted to display the correct units for our values? Well, we can actually create a couple of calculated fields that will allow you to dynamically change the number format depending on the data that you see inside your visualization. So let's take a look at how we can do that. So let's go ahead and create our first calculated field. We're going to click on this drop down menu, create calculated field, and we're going to call this display units. I already have my code, so I'm just going to simply copy and paste, and I'll walk you guys through the code as I'm doing this. All right. So basically we're going to take a look at the sum of sales and we're going to say if the sum of sales is greater than a billion, greater or equal than a billion, then use B for your display units. Else if the sum of sales is greater than or equal than a million, then we're going to use M. Else if the sum of sales is greater than or equal to a thousand, then we're going to use K as our display units. And for any value that is under a thousand, we're simply just going to display a blank space. And when you're writing out the statement, you can easily use single or double quotes. It won't really make a difference. Okay. So that's going to give us our display units. We'll click okay. And we'll bring this information and drop it onto label. The next thing we want to do is we want to normalize our values to be displayed besides our display units. So we're going to create another calculated field. We're going to call it normalized values. And let's just take a look at the second statement in here. So to normalize your values, all you're going to do is you're going to look at your sum of sales. If the sum of sales is greater than or equal to a billion, then you're going to simply take that information and divide it by a billion. You're going to do the same thing for a million and for a thousand. For anything less than a thousand, you're simply just going to display the original sum of sales value, All right? So we're going to click OK. We'll bring this information and drop it onto label. And now I'm going to remove my original sum of sales label. OK, so that looks good. The only thing we need to do now is to align the two labels side by side. So I'm going to click on label under text here. I'm going to click on the three dots and I'm going to remove this and paste it and center my values. Once we click OK, we can see that our information has been centered and we can see our normalized values side by side with our display units. All right, so let's test this out and see how it works. I'm going to navigate over to my customer name filter and I'm just going to select a random customer. So here we can clearly see that we're displaying the correct units for our data. We're displaying 2.5 thousand right here and anything below a thousand does not really get a display unit. This will also work for millions and billions. And that is it. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks.